Hi guys, today I'm just going to be doing a little commentary over gameplay. It's not a live comm, so yeah, won't be as ragey and exciting as they normally are. So, today I just want to be talking about DLC weapons. Now, the trailers come out for the Infinite Warfare and the remastered Call of Duty 4 trailers come out as well. Um, they look right. Let's, I'll give you my opinion. COD 4 looks awesome. Um, obviously the trailers have different sounds, um, <laughs> like in every Call of Duty trailer the guns sound different, everything sounds different, so um, so don't expect anything like that if you're not used to the trailers. But Infinite Warfare, wow, it's just like, it's just so, I mean it does look good, not good, I don't know, I don't know how to word this. The game looks good multiplayer wise, but it just looks so shit. If you <laughs> it's like it's good but shit at the same time. So I really don't know what to think about that. Um, but I wasn't too impressed by the trailer. It didn't get me excited at all, which is what most almost every Call of Duty trailer has ever done. It's got me excited to play it, but that one is just really not um, excited for that. But you know, who knows? Who knows? So we're going to be talking about the DLC weapons now. Call of Duty is coming to a close. We have uh, this September month left. October and then we have November which is well look at this fucking camper um, <laughs> uh, November is when I'm sure uh, that's when all the Call of Duty's ever come out that's in November and um, that's when they will be coming out so before that um, what I'm thinking is that they will release more weapons now that is probably stupid they might obviously be re releasing weapons but who knows what they are so because we didn't see any in August I think with the last in July, something like that, were they? Am I wrong in that? I know they released the prize fighters, but that was just the thing, so you know that might be making up for this um, August that, that they missed out or whatever. Um, so um, yeah, melee weapons. First off, what I'm going to talk about what I'd like to see. What I'd like to see, um, right? I thought of some funny ones, and I'm going to tell you these funny ones, um, but. First off, I'd like to see, now I've heard this rumoured as well, um, that there might be a bowie knife. Now, I think that'd be awesome, that's in Zombies. Um, I heard it was like a bit of a thing where you could get a multiplayer as well as, um, you know, from Zombies on multiplayer, something like that. It was a bit, it was a bit weird, but I'm not 100%, I'm not into all, you know, proper research or anything like that. But I think a bowie knife would be online, but I, I was thinking this from, I think, the first or second set of weapons that came out. I was thinking something like a machete. Now I think that'd be awesome. Some big fucking Jason Voorhees knife. Can you imagine running around with that? That'd be absolutely class. But yeah, Bowie knife or a machete. I think that'd be awesome. Um, what else would I like to see? Um, <laughs> I thought a chainsaw. Right, okay. It is a bit Doom-like because obviously you get the, the, the chain on Doom online as well. But I think if you run around, can you imagine killing campers with that? They would shit their fucking pants. They're sat there, minding their own business, watching the rest of the team, and you come up to them and absolutely hack them to pieces. That would be the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> but, um, no, I think that would be so much fun to just uh, run around with as a melee weapon. Um, another one, <laughs> the last one I thought of, which would be pretty good, um, is a pan. Now, because <laughs> they brought out the boxing gloves, um, I have got uh, some gameplays of that, but I might try and get some more and get a live commentary with the gloves. Um, the boxing gloves, um, which I think could be pretty funny anyway, just doing one only of them, like a boxing glove only gameplay. Um, but no, they, they are really funny. I think they're so funny, the animations on them and everything. Um, you can do uppercuts and everything, it's so much fun. But I think a pan, if you hit someone and it made the perfect, the resonant noise of a pan crashing acro across someone's head, that'd be the funniest thing in the world. I'd, Man, and can you imagine people with camos and everything on the pan? That would be absolutely awesome. <laughs> so, what I'm going to talk about now is the um, that rumoured weapons. Now, um, I'm not going to talk so much about guns and stuff, because, you know, um, they're a bit harder to get across, um, obviously, because, you know, they'll, they'll be in classes, so you can't really um, pick out individual weapons, whereas melee weapons, you can have kind of objects that you can fucking hit people with. <laughs> so... Yeah, the ones that have been rumoured around, or I've heard, might be in the game, maybe. Uh, one is a spear. Now, I, whether this is throwable, whether this is just run up to them and absolutely joust them or something like that, I think that'd be great. I'd rather it be, like, one that you hold and um, that you don't throw. I mean, if you threw it, fair enough. Um, I'm not sure. I think that could be a cool thing, but... Can you imagine just people running around trying to get a cross map spears? That'd be great, I'd see that would actually be a lot of fun. But um, no, I would prefer if it's a melee weapon that you just keep it um, in your hands. But who knows? 
So, another one I've heard could be in the game, I'm not 100% sure guys, and uh, don't quote me on these, um, but another one is a sledgehammer, now some, a, a sledgehammer or a warhammer, now I think that would be, see, the slash and burn in the game, I have that of my DLC weapons, you, if you guys know, you know how annoyed I am that I have no weapons at all, I have the iron gym, this, um, the slash and burn which I got in the guaranteed one, and then the prize fighters which everyone else got, which is, you know, I've not been fortunate. I know I've opened a lot of them. Um, I've not actually spent my own money on the uh, cryptos, but I've earned a lot. Um, and I've sp opened a lot. So, um, I'm just a bit unfortunate. But then again, you know, the drop rates are terrible. Anyway, I'm babbling. But, like with the Slash and Burn, I think it's so much slower than something like the Iron Gym for me. Or the Prize Fighters. Um, and I don't think the range on it either. Because if you could swing at the bottom, you know what I mean? But um, you hold it at the top and then you lay it into someone but um, something like that I think tying that into the warhammer or sledgehammer or something like that I think it'd just be a slow melee weapon I don't know if they move all at the same speed or the, you know look at that I fucking own that guy um, <laughs> um, yeah I don't I just think it'd be so slow but you know they could um, obviously compute that to be a bit faster or something like that um, and the final one guys which could be and this is more of a, like a blurred out area which is also a bit of a bit of a mixed up one is the ballistic knife. Now that was in Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1. So you know seeing it in Black Ops 3 wouldn't be a total total surprise. It'd be good. I think it'd be awesome to have a ballistic knife. Because, you know, it's awesome. Ballistic knife's awesome. Like um the Black Ops 1, the one in Black Ops 1 was awesome. I thought that was great. Uh Black Ops 2, not as impressive, but it was still the ballistic knife, so it had that um that feel about it which was good. And I just think in this one, if they did it, I hope it's not like crap <laughs> like um the ballistic knife in uh, black ops one was awesome i, I love that one um and then the one in um Kill. it just seemed like it shot so far in black ops 2 um and you didn't know where it went it just fucking fired and <laughs> but if it was in um black ops 3 sorry um i was just i was just looking at the gameplay i thought i died there um yeah if it was in black ops 3 um, obviously, ballistic knife, you can use it as a close-up melee weapon, as a quicker form of knifing, or a um, ranged weapon. But, who knows? So guys, that's what is about the melee weapons. As I said before, I don't know about ranged weapons, if there's going to be LMGs, snipers, SMGs, or assault rifles, something like that. Who knows? Or maybe even more special weapons. Now that's just reminded me, I picked up the fucking crossbow. <laughs> but um, no, that's it, guys. Um, that could be the last. It the if it is going to be another one, it will be the last. Um, because you know, cards coming to an end. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and comment. I hope you did. I will see you in the next one. Enjoy the gameplay. Bye bye. to do.